Welcome to the PAC Football Report for September 28th, 2024. I'm Joe Anderko. This week we will take a quick look back at football action in the President's Athletic Conference last Saturday, while also previewing Week 4 contests this weekend. Five PAC teams remain unbeaten through three weeks, with the two 3-0 programs set for a huge Week 4 clash. Carnegie Mellon and w j each improved to 3-0 with impressive wins, with CMU posting a 66-0 blanking of Bethany, while the Presidents overcame a two-and-a-half-hour lightning delay to defeat rival Waynesburg 55-16. Defending champion Grove City and Westminster each improved to 2-0 with road victories, with the Wolverines rolling past St. Vincent 56-7, and the Titans downing Allegheny 42-7. Finally, Geneva earned its first win of 2024 with a 21-6 home decision over Teal. Case Western Reserve had the Week 3 bye. PAC Player of the Week recognition in Week 3 went to Grove City senior wideout Scott Frazier on offense with 242 receiving yards and two TDs at St. Vincent. WNJ senior defensive tackle Dawson Dietz on defense with eight tackles including four and a half for loss and one and a half sacks at Waynesburg. And junior kicker Justin Caputo of Carnegie Mellon on special teams going a perfect 6-for-6 on extra points with a 33-yard field goal. Top newcomer was Geneva freshman linebacker Wyman Shaheen with five tackles, a sack, and a fumble recovery versus Teal. Week 4 again features five league contests, including multiple homecoming games, while Bethany has the bye. The matchup of PAC and national powers between 3-0 Carnegie Mellon and 3-0 Washington and Jefferson kicks off at 2 p.m. at Cameron Stadium in Washington. CMU is ranked 15th, and WNJ is receiving votes in the latest D3Football.com National Top 25 poll. The teams are meeting for the 73rd time, with the Tartans holding a 36-31-5 all-time advantage, including a 35-14 final in Pittsburgh a year ago. President Head Coach Mike Sirianni previews the heavyweight matchup with CMU. You know, they have a lot of talent. They have a lot of fifth-year players back. And, you know, match their intensity, I think, is the big thing and, and, and eliminate our turnovers. And hopefully by that, if we can do that, you know, they're also talented. We could be in the game in the fourth quarter. After a week three bye, Case Western Reserve is also receiving national top 25 votes as the 2-0 Spartans travel to Beaver Falls for a 3 p.m. homecoming matchup at 1-2 Geneva. The Spartans have won all nine meetings with the GT since rejoining the PAC in 2014, including a 42-7 home win in Cleveland in 2023. Veteran Case head coach Greg Debelak details how he and his staff approached the Week 3 bye week. The way we chose to go uh, after talking with my leadership group is we just competed against each other. We were very competitive, um, you know, sometimes going live, sometimes not, but you know, our guys like competing. Defending PAC champion and 2-0 Grove City, coming off its highest national ranking ever at number 8 this past week, hosts 1-2 Allegheny in the Wolverines' annual night game at Thornfield in Grove City at 7 p.m. The all-time series dates back to 1899 with the Gators holding a 36-29-7 advantage, but the Wolverines have won both meetings since Allegheny rejoined the PAC in 2022, including a 31-7 final in Meadville a year ago. GCC mentor Andrew DiDonato talks about what makes the night game atmosphere at Grove City special. The night game is the one game where almost every other sports team is able to make it. I know it's a big deal for all the athletic department to be there, cheerleaders, fans, the band, and just really having all the student athletes there I think really makes for a special environment at Grove City in our night game. Other week four PAC contests, 0-3 Waynesburg travels to 1-2 St. Vincent for a 1 p.m. kickoff at Chuck Knoll Field in Latrobe. It's the 43rd all-time meeting between the teams dating back to 1929. The Jackets snapped a four-game skid to the Bearcats with a 24-0 shutout in Waynesburg last season. Finally, 0-3 Teal hosts homecoming at Alumni Stadium in Greenville with a 3 p.m. kickoff against 2-0 Westminster. The longtime local foes face off in their 81st meeting dating back to 1894. Westminster has won the last seven contests, with the last Tomcat win in the series being a 45-37 four-overtime thriller in 2013. That's all for this edition of the PAC Football Report. Log on to the conference website at www.pacathletics.org all season long for the latest news, scores, statistics, and other league information. You can also follow us on social media via X, Facebook, and Instagram. Links are available at the PAC website. I'm Joe Anderko. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you at the stadium.